activity on Phantom was on a 30 day, even though the co-founder put out an exciting update. Uh, if deployed, press time data showed that the neem coins might not match up to Solana. Uh, Phantom, through co-founder Andre Cronjay, has disclosed that it would be opening its network uh, to anyone who wants to deploy a meme coin. Uh, uh, Cronj said this in a blog post published on the 9th of April. According to him, the goal is to create a safer environment for communities and investors. Uh, however, Cronjay, who recently defended Solana, uh, after the project uh, uh, faced some criticism, gave certain conditions, and he noted that 10% of any of the approved tokens uh, would be locked in a bigger health than we got a, their personnel. 5% would go to the team's expenses. In other terms, uh, he mentioned that 10% didn't read up uh, 5%. The remaining 85% of the tokens will be put up in a an FTM token LP in Foundation Multisig, an amount of 100,000 FTM will be provided. And Phantom's decision to unlock its doors comes off the back of a thriving meme coin season. While some blockchains have had their time, Solana seems to have remained a top dominance. And um, but there was a difference between what was happening on Phantom and what Solana meme coins brought. Before the emergence of projects like uh, Bonk and Dog With Hat, Activity on Solana was impressive. However, AMB Crypto's analysis showed that it was not the same as the DeFi scalable blockchain. At press time, Santiment data showed how the 24-hour active addresses on Phantom were their lowest in the last 30 days. Uh, fewer active addresses indicate less demand uh, for FTM. Uh, if this continues, uh, it could be difficult for the community to show interest in the mean coins like the active addresses network growth on the chain also dropped um, the chart as shown above implies that phantom has struggled to attract new participants however it's not out of place to assume uh, that the situation might change for example if one main coin launches and the community finds it worthwhile uh, liquidity might improve uh, such as as well as FTM's demand uh, beyond the metrics mentioned above, the total value locked can also tell if the proposal might do well when implemented. According to DeFalama, the project's TDL was $140.53 million. One thing we noticed was how the TVL had increased but was still far off the $5 billion value. It was hit at the peak of the 2021 bull market. Um, while the increase shows improving health, it also reflects hesitation by participants um, to commit a lot of capital um, in, in anticipation of a good yield. Uh, realistic or not, here's FDM's market cap in, in SOL terms. And nonetheless, the state of these metrics does not mean that the meme coin, if deployed, would underperform. So, like, however, likely they might not match up to the way the plethora of tokens deployed under Solana did. At the same time, it might be too early to predict